If so, CSV is a new way to easily create and manage your dynamic content. This solution is perfect if you need to set up a big number of dynamic versions. Dynamic content can be displayed based on the user's location, time zone, the value of a query parameter, the page URL, and more. You can upload your own data or download pre-built files from our website to display data, such as the user's country flag or a welcome message in the user's language. Creating and managing dynamic content is extremely simple. The setup might vary slightly depending on the condition you are planning to use, but the idea is similar. Each CSV file should be associated with only one condition. If you want to apply more than one condition, you will simply need to create another CSV bulk. Column A includes the values of your CSV bulk condition, and the rest of the columns are the different versions of your dynamic content that you can display on your site using a shortcode if the condition is met. For example, if you would like to schedule date-based content, use column A for the dates. If you want to show dynamic content based on the user's country, column A would be the country's ISO codes. Let's go on with the country-based content example and walk through the whole setup process. After installing If So and the CSV extension on your WordPress dashboard, go to If So and then click Bulks. Click Add a new bulk. Name your bulk. Choose a simple name that will help you remember what the bulk is for and select the relevant condition. We will use the geolocation in our example. Select the location you would like to target, in our case, the country. Click Choose File and upload your CSV file. As mentioned earlier, when setting up country-based content, the values in column A should be the country's ISO codes. The CSV we are using in this example can be downloaded on our website. It already includes a list of all countries' ISO codes, country names, and images of their flags. Select your CSV separator. By default, you should leave the separator to be comma. If your content contains commas, you might want to set a different separator when you save and upload your file, and click Create CSV Bulk. Our first bulk is ready. Clicking View Bulk will allow you option to see and manage your data. Each table column has a shortcode you can paste on any field on your site that accepts shortcodes. Every time a page with a shortcode loads, the condition will be checked and the value of the relevant field will be displayed. If you want to set up default content that will be displayed if none of the conditions are met, simply add another row and type default-content under column A. If so, CSV is flexible enough to suit any need. You can use the CSV shortcodes inside and if so trigger with another condition. You can use the same shortcode several times on the same page, use several different shortcodes on the same page, or use different shortcodes on different pages. It is compatible with page caching. And you can use or paste the HTML as content in the cells. We hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. If so, a WordPress plugin that makes all the difference. Try it now for free.